a lot of times when I'm working on tracks, I associate colors with sounds. Sometimes I'll listen to a song and I'll just see a lot of like shades of orange or shades of blue maybe. And when I listen to Euphoria, I just see like shades of the rainbow. Euphoria is a solo song with uh, Jungkook, who's one of the seven members of BTS. You know, I, I sent it to them and then, I mean, he's such an incredible singer and I heard this amazing vocal back and, and they added some really cool uh, vocal harmonies in the in the hook, which I, I thought just added so much more to the drop. And to me, creatively, they're, they're pushing the boundaries so far. There's a lot of fearlessness in the art that they make and how they create it. When I started Euphoria, initially it was a, an idea from a writer who I was working with, Candace Sosa. She plays guitar and I was inspired by the, just the sound that was in this initial little demo. And I said, all right, let, let, me, let me take that and, and, and work with it. And it sort of all just came together really fluidly and, and naturally. You know, musically, when the song starts with that guitar, it's like, oh man, this just feels so good. Just like kind of warms you here. And then it's layered with a second guitar. One is panned to the left, one is panned a little to the right. By itself, it, it's a very simple part. Uh, and then together, you just get some nice harmonics off the two and, and it feels great. So once I have that, the piano comes in and the piano is really driving the song just uh, melodically from the chords and just where the song is moving. There's just Alicia Keys piano, and then a Greg Wells just piano plug in. It adds a little delay, a, a little bit of uh, a chorus, uh, brightens the piano up a little bit. So those two guitar sounds in the piano uh, basically start off the song. That's the intro of the song, and then also the first four bars of the uh, of the first verse. The chords are just so pretty, and and they lend themselves to really nice vocal melodies on top of it. So that was a really good uh, foundation for where the rest of the song went. So from there, the next thing that I add is uh, a drum loop, which just helps add a little bit of rhythm so that the vocals have a, have a place to sit. It's a, a melodic uh, tom loop, and I use uh, four different sounds for it. As you can tell, they move with the chords. I just added a simple kick drum. After that, we added a splash snare that just sort of uh, creates a lot of space. So after the drums were added, uh, we have the guitar and the piano. Uh, just in that second half of the verse, I added two pad sounds. It just allows the song to grow a little bit and it sort of anticipates what's gonna happen next. And so once those pads were added, uh, that was basically the entire section. So after the verse, uh, the B section comes in, and, and this is really where the song is growing to at this point. You know, the song is called Euphoria. I wanted a, a B section that would be just really open and bright. And so we've done a ton of stuff in here to sort of achieve that. The main instrument there are these synth string sounds. I just took the initial piano chords from the, the intro, but it's played uh, with more rhythm and I was messing around with uh, Serum. I found this cool sound in there that I modified a little bit. Uh, so after I had the, added the strings, uh, the next thing I wanted to add was a, a synth pad. Uh, and I found this really cool preset in Silent, which I then modified a bit called Pong. Then the way that I processed it is I added a filter that would open up as the section moved along, making our way towards the chorus. So once I had those, those basic uh, chord layers down and the energy going the way that I wanted, Candice added a, uh, a guitar in this section, uh, which sort of acts as the lead melody. I think it just adds, adds a nice counter melody to the initial chords that are in there. 
anchoring this entire section, uh, there's a sub bass. It's just a sine wave bass. It's about as simple a sound as, as you can get. In all of the tracks that I produce, I try to make sure that, you know, every 15 seconds there's something new that happens, something that just keeps your brain thinking and, and you know, on its toes. These little vocal chops are really just meant to complement the lead vocal. <laughs> So after a few other smaller sounds are added, uh, this is what that entire uh, B section sounds like. So then coming out of that uh, B section leading into the chorus, there's just a couple ear candy uh, sounds that were added just to be a nice little moment before the chorus drop. Sometimes music is is like a collage and you just take these cool sounds and you try to see how they can play off one another and how they fit in. And, and uh, a lot of it's just experimenting and messing around with it. So now once we get to the chorus, this is sort of the release for the whole song. Everything opens up, so it gets nice and bright. The energy changes. This whole section was built around a main uh, stab uh, chord sound. I just found this this really interesting synth and it's got a slow attack on it. I've layered it with a filtered uh, version just to get a little more low end out of the EQ. So once I had that main chord sound, I layered it with uh, two other sounds just to add a little bit more attack to it uh, and just raise the energy uh, just a bit. And they're playing the exact same thing. Uh, it's just some sonic layers. And then finally, the last thing that was layered was uh, these same strings from the B section. So once I had all of those main chords, uh, the next thing I added was a bass pluck sound. And I've actually filtered out a lot of the uh, low end frequencies from it. And I think it just added some interesting rhythms in between what was happening with the chords. There's already a lot going on uh, in the hook synth wise but there is a bass there that sort of just follows the same chords that all those synths are doing. It's just there to anchor all of those sounds. So then finally in the chorus, uh, we get to the drums. As you can see, there is a lot of drums, but if I play them all together, I don't think it really sounds like it's a lot. A lot of these little per percussion things just happen one time or they hit at little moments. Uh, just to get a, a, a nice bounce happening. So I'll start adding them one by one so you can see uh, what happened there. A lot of that is just auditioning sounds and looking for cool, interesting new sounds that I maybe haven't heard before or haven't used before. And eventually, as you spend enough time on it, all these sort of sounds start to fit in as like a puzzle and they start to fit in together and, and find their home. Once you add uh, the main kick and snare, the hook drums sound like this. Uh, the last final sound, which is really the driving melodic uh, layer of the chorus, uh, is this vocal chop. Really, it started as layers of our initial demo vocal. I chopped it up in a way where melodically, I, I just liked what it did melodically. I didn't care if the words made sense or anything, because then I, I processed it, it quite heavily so that none of the words are discernible anymore. Did it 
So that's just actually Candace's vocal and uh, at the end, a bit of uh, Jungkook's vocal. Once it w the vocal was processed in a way where it was uh, nice and compressed and, and, and EQ'd the way that I wanted, uh, I added a uh, little Alter Boy. And this sort of uh, pitches the vocal up. I added a bunch of reverb and I added a side chain to it. And then there were some other little frequencies that were jumping out that I didn't like. So there's a de on it. And finally some delay. When I first sent uh, BTS and their label my original demo of the song, uh, it already had uh, this vocal chop in it. And then once I got vocals back from Jungkook, uh, I implemented some of his vocal layers into it just so that it would blend with the vocals that were happening in the chorus. And it would, it would just end up being a, a double layer of what he was already doing in the chorus. And so here's how the whole chorus sounds. So that's basically all of the main elements of the record and, and there are some other layers in there. Um, as you can tell, like it's a fairly complex production. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, pieces of ear candy and, and layers that come and go. Uh, but I try to cover the, the, the most important parts and that's Euphoria. Working with BTS, uh, it's really been incredible. And I just sort of built a relationship with, with the team over there and, and uh, started sending them some records. and. This was one of the first ones that they picked. And it's just been amazing to see like what they've been able to achieve, you know, uh, two, two number one albums in the same year from a foreign language uh, act in America. That's that's like a huge achievement. Nobody's ever done that before. Uh, it's just exciting. I'm, I'm glad I'm a part of it and I'm hoping that their success will continue. <laughs>